In this quick color grading tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a muted green color grade in Final Cut Pro so that you can turn shots like this into moody muted green shots like this. There are only four steps, so let's get into it. To create this kind of muted, desaturated, dark green color grade, you'll want to have a shot that has a lot of green in your shot, obviously. I've grabbed this shot from Artgrid where you can find super high quality stock footage. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in checking that out. Let's start by creating the look or mood of the shot. And by that I mean getting the greens in the shot to look dark, moody and muted. First things first, let's pull up our scopes and to do that I'm going to use the shortcut command 7 and then I'm going to hide the browser window using the shortcut control command one. I also want to make sure that I have this two up display selected so that I can show my vector scope on this top panel and on the bottom panel, I can have my waveform with the Luma channel displayed. Now I'm ready to create my look. So I'm going to head over to my color inspector and I'm going to add a hue saturation curves adjustment. Then I'm going to select this eyedropper tool here and I'm going to select a large portion of the screen. I'm going to try select a range of greens. So I think this big area over here will work quite well. The reason I want to change this hue versus hue section is because these leaves have a little bit of yellow in them and I want to make sure this is all a nice moody green. So I'm just going to drag and drop that down, pull it down till I've got a nice green look somewhere about there. Now you'll notice where the leaves blur over this guy's face, you'll have some yellow kind of over his skin. So I might just widen this curve slightly, which will just get rid of some of that yellow banding. Next, I want to make sure that the saturation of the screen is way down. So I'm going to select the eyedropper tool, select the same sort of range of green, and I'm going to pull that down to desaturate it like that. I also want to darken the screen. So I'm going to do the same on my Hue versus Luma section, select that green, and I'm going to pull that down quite a bit to darken it like that. Now that we have that basic look, let's correct the overall shot by setting the correct black and white values. To do that, I'm going to add a color wheels adjustment. Now looking at my waveform over here, I'm going to drop the shadows until they almost touch zero on this waveform. So somewhere right about there will be good. And then I'm gonna bring the highlights up and normally if I had a blown out sky or something really white in the scene, I'd push these highlights all the way up to 100. But that just looks a little odd on his face because that is not supposed to be pure white. So I'm going to tone that down and I'll bring it to somewhere around there. I'll also boost the midtones a little bit just to balance the image out slightly. Next, I'll adjust the contrast of the entire shot and I'll do that using a color curves adjustment. I'll make three points, one in the middle, one in the shadows and one in the highlights. And I just want to tone down how harsh these highlights are in his skin. So I'll bring that down slightly over there and I'll just boost the shadows slightly just to soften the contrast so it's not too hectic. Now that we've made these adjustments on second look, I kind of want to desaturate these greens a little bit more. So I'll hop back to my hue saturation curves and I will just drop the saturation a little bit more and I might darken it a little bit more as well. Lastly, we need to fix this guy's skin tone. At the moment, you can see it's quite green. So what I'm going to do is use my crop tool to just select a portion of his skin so that it fills the frame. Something like this should do the trick. And I'll hit done. And now you can see that the color of his skin does not sit on the skin tone indicator line, which is this line right here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a color wheels adjustment and we need to add a mask here that just affects the skin tone. So what I'm going to do first is just uncheck this crop tool so that I can see his whole face. And I'm going to come back into the color wheels and I'm going to add a color mask. Using the eyedropper, I'll just select his skin tone, something like that. And then I can click on view mask here to get an idea of what's being selected and what is not. Now, a lot of this green is being affected, which I don't want. So in the HSL tab over here, I can just select this range and make sure that I just select his skin tone. So let's do this to get rid of some of the green. And I think that should be about right. Let's go a little further maybe something like that. I'll uncheck this view masks box so that I can see everything. And just to illustrate what this does, this is only going to affect those skin tones that we selected. So if I desaturate that completely, you'll see what it's affecting. So now I'm going to activate the crop tool again so we can just see his skin tone. 
and then I'm going to come into my global adjustments for the color and I'm going to try get my skin tone to line up with the skin tone indicator line over here. So I'll push it a little bit more towards magenta and purple on the global adjustment, that's about right. And then the skin lies in the mid-tone. So I'm going to do the same in the mid-tones and just push that a little bit more towards magenta just to get my skin lining up on this line a little bit better. I could probably push it a little further, but I don't want it to be too purple. I'll head back over to the crop tool and I'll just uncheck that so we can see the skin tones. And if I take this off, you can see how green the skin was before. And now we have a skin tone that looks a lot more natural. Before we quickly recap how each of these adjustments affected the final grade, if you enjoyed this color grading tutorial and you want to see more, let me know by hitting that like button. This is the original shot. Then we created the muted green look by changing the hue of the greens in the shot, reducing the saturation and darkening the green areas. Next, we corrected the black and white values of the entire image to effectively get a good exposure. Then we reduced the contrast and softened the highlights a bit and lastly, we corrected the skin tone to make it look a bit more natural and less green. One last time, here is the original shot and this is the final muted green color grade. That's it for this one guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can see more videos like this and click on that bell so that you get notified when they come out and I'll see you in the next one.